What's up? I am back. In this video, I'm going to show you on how to use the button in JavaFX. So JavaFX provides three types of controls that represent buttons. Number one is buttons to execute commands, two, buttons to, ex to make choices, and buttons to execute commands as well as make choices. So in this video, I'm going to focus on execute commands because the buttons to make choices is part of the toggle button, radio button, and checkbox. And we'll make a separate video for that. So button in JavaFX has three modes, a normal button, default button, and a cancel button. For a normal, normal button, the action event is fired when the button is activated. So for the default button, the action event is fired when the enter key is pressed and no other node in the scene consumes the key pressed. And for the cancel button, the action event is fired when the escape key is pressed and no other node in the scene consumes the key pressed. So when we are creating the application or when we are developing an application in Java, button is very important and has a big role when developing an application. So let's get started. So open your IDE and create a new Java FX project or implement this tutorial in your um, ongoing project. So here I am going to create a root node which is hbox and I'm going to set this to root equals new hbox. Alright and import the scene layout hbox. Alright and let's create the scene. Scene object and pass in the variable root. I mean root. All right, and import the scene. And we will declare the window size. Let's say 400 by 400. And make a new line and let's set the stage to and let's set our scene to stage so stage that set scene scene all right and stage that set title we're going to set the window title let's say understanding button and let's show the stage stage that show all right and let's create a button actually I'm going to create three buttons here for uh, for normal button default button and the cancel button so I'm going to create the object button object BTN, let's say BTN normal. And we will name our button to normal. Normal, all right. And let's add a mnemonic function. Let's put an underscore before normal, all right. And let's import the button. I'm going to copy this for our default button and a cancel button. And let's change the variable to uh, default. And for the cancel button. All right, this is just an example. So it will give you an idea on how to use the button in JavaFX. Let's say default and cancel. So I'm going to set the uh, 
default value. Let's say btn default that set um, default button to true and btn cancel that set uh, cancel button cancel button to true. All right, and let's add the var, uh, nodes to our h box. Let's say root that get children that add all btn uh, normal btn default and the btn cancel. So let's set the button to the center of the H box. So let's set the alignment root that set alignment position to center. And let's set the spacing root that set spacing. Spacing to 10. And I think that's it all right I'm going to paste it in here so let's try to run our application to see what that look like okay this is the normal button default and cancel so I'm going to click on normal I forgot to show the output oh we have an issue we didn't see an output here because we haven't sent set the action event so I'm going to set the action event so btn normal that set on action event let's say event and we will use the lambda expression for our action event and we will make a method for this private void normal normal button all right I make mistake here and another for um, default button For cancel button S out and hit on tab to make the system out that print ln for the shortcut S out and then hit on tab all right and button activated for cancel gonna copy this paste it in here for normal and for default so let's pass the method for the normal button normal button let's copy this line of code here and paste it below for the other action event and let's change the variable to default and cancel And let's change the methods here for 
default button and cancel button okay and let's run this program again to see what that looked like all right the application is running and open the output tab and let's try clicking this button right here the button is activated for normal the default is activated and the cancel button is activated and let's try showing the on-screen keyboard to see what that looked like so I'm going to try clicking the escape the button activated for cancel and I'm going to enter the enter key oh, the button is activated for default right so that's it and I hope you learned something new in this tutorial please don't forget to like subscribe comment and share and I will see you in the next video